guys, I'm Emily Powers and today we're going to be painting some shells. There's like some unusual colors in these, yellow, pink, orange. Um, it's going to be an easier project, so if you're a beginner, I'm going to try to make it to where you can do this. And I would normally go over the colors and the brushes um, at this point, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'll just have all of it in the description. So if you um, click the little arrow, it'll pop it down, and you can see all the different colors and brushes. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm grabbing as I go. But I will say with this board, it is a 5 by 6.6 inch. So um, it's a DIY frame. Let's see if I can get this. Um, so you basically, you um, it's sheets that are 9 by 12 size. It's got all these like um, ridges in here and you fold it um, to become this board. So this is the back. So it's like light, there's no wood, it's just the paper. So that's what I'm using. And so I thought it would kind of be cute to do it small. Um, so I'm just gonna start real quick. I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle um, and this is a um, Princeton Velvet Touch and that's the series that it is. Um, I'm not going to draw anything at this point. There's like um, it's almost like the shells are near a beach house or something so there's like these slats I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to paint the background this unbleached titanium. And just leave it that. I might like add a few other colors. And make sure to add, uh, dip your brush in the water every once in a while just to kind of Make sure it stays hydrated. It'll help it to flow off the brush easier too. So I'm just kind of going in these like X stroke. I'm just like slapping it on. I'm not really worrying it about the brush strokes. I'm just putting it on real fast. So um, if you're new to my channel, um, the you can you can uh, see my channel by clicking my channel name and my powers art or the picture or uh, yes the picture of the cat painting that I have on there it might be a different picture by now but um, depending on when you're watching but that'll take you to my channel and I have a new painting do a new painting every Friday. When I post post my paintings, and there's um, like more beginner ones, like this one is, or more um, a little bit more complicated ones. If you want to do something a little more complicated, if you want to. If you've been doing the, some easier paintings for a while and you just kind of want to see if you can do something a little harder, or if you've been painting a while, you can challenge yourself. I wouldn't say that they're challenging unless you're like a beginner, um, but I guess that would depend on what you're good at painting certain some it's like every painter I think has the things that they aren't good at and the things they are good at and so if it's something that you like don't normally paint it might be something you wanna try. Alright so I'm taking a little bit of white and a little bit of ultramarine blue and just kind of 
dabbing it in certain places. Um, just kind of making the background a little interesting. You may not like this background. You can just kind of do whatever colored background you want. And since this is a, um, it does have sides, I'm going to go ahead and kind of real quick put on these sides. If you have like a panel, I'll just skip this part because you obviously wouldn't have any edges that would need this on it. But since I do, I'm just gonna. I always think it looks a little bit more finished when you paint the edges. So, um, one thing that I am noticing about these boards is that at least at this initial coat, it seems to dry the paint kind of fast. So, um, just like. Um, paper, like a mixed media paper or something, that they tend to dry out the paint because, you know, the paper is like sucking up all the moisture. So this is kind of doing the same thing, I think. Um, so if you don't like that, you may not like these boards, I don't know. But I mean, you can always try something and if you don't like it. Okay, so I'm rinsing my brush out. Uh, and you can see I didn't go all the way down because this is kind of going to be where our sand is. So, rinsing that. And it's okay if you still have some of that color because it's not going to be a big deal. But I'm going to take the white. It's pretty light sand. It's like white sand. Like a white sand beach. It's very light. I'm just going to slap it on down here, and it comes right about there. Another thing that I'm noticing is that it tends to want to move <laughs> a little bit, um, so you might want to have something down that maybe would grip it or something like that. I mean, it's not a big deal if you have a side you can hold, but like at this point, I'm covering the sides, so I don't really have a whole lot of different areas to hold on to. Um, so that's one thing. It's very light. There's like not really a whole lot to weigh it down. Okay, but there is some shadowing, so I'm going to get the ultramarine blue and some burnt umber. More blue though. Let's say I don't know. Might be about equal. And a little bit of the unbleached titanium. But you still want it to be light and just kind of put that in. We get more of the unbleached titanium, we get more of that color. Trying to see what color I like better. I think I'm gonna like the more blue color better. And then I'm just gonna kind of wherever there's some indents, um, hills and things, put that. All right, so it looks kind of weird now. I'm gonna take my white and just kind of go over. Make sure to go over the edges. I might even take a little bit of unbleached titanium with it um, so it's not like pure white sand, but it's mainly white still. And just kind of make it have some 
depth in there. Okay, now I'm going to do these sides with white. So now this top part is pretty much dry, so I can kind of hold on to it. All right, and now I'm going to rinse that brush out. And this is something you uh, you don't have to do this, but you might like to. Um, I'm going to take a toothbrush. Make sure it's an old toothbrush, and. I'm going to take some paper towels and just like make sure I'm not going to get any on this, the other parts. So make sure that this is dry though because you don't want it to get in that. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my blue and like darker blue sandy color. Okay, and you want it to be watered down, so I'm watering it down a little bit. Um, so you want it to be kind of like milk. And I'm just going to spray. Make sure it's in there. And any you don't like, you can tap off just so that it's not super bright. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit of brown with my unbleached titanium. I don't want it to be super dark because our sand is very light, but I do like a brown color. I'm going to dab it off on my paper towel so I don't get any like big drips. And the dots will dry pretty fast. Um, they may not dry super, super fast, but um, because it's such a little bitty things of paint, they'll dry pretty quickly. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing with the unbleached titanium. Just putting some more colors in here. And like I said, you don't have to do this. You could just leave it white. Um, I might go over um, again with some white just to kind of tone down, make some of these not so bright, but that's kind of that there. So um, there is, I'm going to take some of the white and just in some areas that are lighter. I'm just gonna kind of brush over, kind of lift it off that there. Brush over some of this, and you can still see the dots through it, but it just won't, it'll kind of make it to where you, it's just not quite as much noticeable. And I'm going to wipe most of that off my brush, and so it's my brush has barely any paint on it. I'm just going to kind of fuzz out the edge where where it's ending because it's kind of fuzzed out in the picture, but. Okay, it's kind of lifting there. That's what happens whenever the paint's drying and you keep going over it. It'll lift off the color underneath. But um, if you just let it dry, you can go back over it later. All right, 
so there's kind of what I'm going to start with. It obviously doesn't look like the picture because the background's lighter, but this is kind of what, you know, you can mess with the background. You can do what you want with it. So, um, now I'm going to probably uh, need to dry it so that I can put my drawing in. So I'm going to dry this and uh, then I can show you the drawing and we can put it in the shelves. Okay, so this is um, dry and I just got a watercolor pencil um, so that it will kind of blend in with the paint and if I need to I can wipe it off. Um, I would say this first shell, if this is the middle point, then the edge is going to be just a little past that. And then top, let's see, the edge is going to be, if you do it in fourths, it's going to be just, let's see, get the measurements right. Okay, so if you do it in fourths, and then you take from this fourth and split it in half again, that's kind of where the edge is going to be. And I'm just going to take it and go around. One thing I do like about these boards is that they're very smooth. That's one thing I like about them. So it doesn't have as much texture as an actual canvas board would. So then it's going to kind of start coming in. And then it's going to come down right in there. And then this side is going to come in. I mean, you can't really see it once it gets down here. It's going to come in. My pencil's like fading out once you get down here. I don't know. Doing that. And there's like a little tail. So there's like this point and this point. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, and then there's another shell that's behind it. Let's see. Just a little bit down from halfway, so like in here. And it's one of these same kinds, I think, but it's down on the ground like that and then see actually it might be a little bigger than that okay and then there's another one a small one a little pink one it's right in here you don't really get to see the bottom of it because it's in the sand. Alright, so um, you may not really be able to see what's down here, but you'll be able to see it when we get it painted. Um, you could skip to the end when it's finished and kind of see where the edge of everything is, but um, that would probably be easier. So I'm going to take my 3 inch angle again. So for all of this, I've used the same brush. So um, I'm going to take my unbleached titanium. You don't have to do this if you like your background, but I'm I'm just going to kind of fade out some of these blue and white areas that I think are a little too strong in here. All right. So for this shell. It's more of a yellow color, and actually, I didn't get out one of the like most important colors, this bright yellow here. I didn't get this one out, so glad I remembered it. So, whoops, sorry about that noise. <laughs> um, tends to happen when the uh, bottle's getting low. <laughs> 
Um, so that's cadmium yellow medium. It'll be in the description too. So I'm going to take some of the cadmium yellow medium and yellow oxide or yellow ochre. It's not oxide, it's ochre, but it's pretty much the same color. So, um, and I'm going to add white to it. See, that's really, really bright. So I'm going to get um, bleached titanium and yeah, that's better. So that's like way bright. This is a little bit, uh, not so wow, like really, it's a little more muted. <laughs> it's not so bright like that other one. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go in this shell and um, with these shells, normally they have like ridges on the edges, but it's kind of smooth. This one's like smooth at the top and then the ridges um, kind of start um, just a little bit below the the uh, top. So you're not seeing a ridge at the top, which is going to make this a little easier to paint. And really, we only need this brighter color kind of this top point here and then I'm going to get some yellow ox um, yellow ochre and some burnt umber for some darker I'm just going to put that this other side where the light's not really hitting it go around and really I'm going to wipe that off there's some white colors down here it's like the sand is making like a reflection or it's actually a little bit light um, more white here Shells like tend to it's like color in some areas, then it's kind of like white in others. So it's like yellow, yellow, and then like fades into white in this area. So let's put a little bit of white there. So I'm going to rinse that out and put in the base of the other shells. So this is just the base, it's not going to look this odd later. Um, we're just going to kind of get the coloring in. So I'm going to get cadmium orange. And see that's way bright. I'm going to take some yellow ox, uh, ox, ochre. Oh, I keep saying oxide. Um, and some unbleached titanium. Um, because this cadmium, uh, cadmium orange is transparent. If we um, didn't add like white or unbleached titanium or if we didn't add any opaque colors it would just be super see-through so you can still see th through this one but it's we're gonna keep layering with it if it was um, a just transparent color it would be super super see-through so we want this layer to cover And I'm going to try to kind of go over this other shell here. All right. So you can see it, it is still see through, but that's our first layer. And then this other pink shell is a 
little, well, it's pink, obviously, but um, the light's going to be hitting it on this side mainly, just like this one, mainly on this side and dark on this side, so it's going to be, it's, it's actually mainly light and bright, but there is some shadowing on this right side, so we're going to get the deep magenta, actually, I think I might, let's see, I just got that color in there. Um, I have to scrape off with spraying my paint with, a, with some water in a spray bottle. And since this is a glass palette, I'm scraping off this old paint so that I have room. Okay. So now that's clean, I'm going to get the magenta and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Not a whole lot or else it'll turn it like purple, but just a little bit. And really, it's very light, so I'm going to get mostly white. So it's going to be a little purple, but not, um, you want it to be a little bit more pink than purple, so I'm going to go and I'm put this, you may want to change to a smaller brush if you can't fit it in here, but I'm going to try. Okay, and then this side. Say it's got pink and blue. Just to make sure that they blend okay. So I'm just kind of fuzzing out the edges of these two because you don't really see the edge. It's covered by sand. So I'm just going to leave it fuzzed out like that until we get these other details in. So this one's dry now. And you may want to draw in the ridges um, if it would be easier for you but the way that it's going to go is kind of in here it's going to be just slightly slanted and then it's going to slowly um, this is like right here is the point that pretty much they're all going to go to once it gets to these outer edges it'll kind of go a little bit more this way or a little bit more this way but this middle point is kind of where they start coming in until they slowly start going out as they um, get farther away. But what I'm going to do is take let's see some of the yellow ochre and burnt umber and some ultramarine blue making it a little bit green because we added blue to yellow and I'm going to add a little bit more yellow so it's just like this dark neutral yellowy greenish 
not super green, but okay, and I'm just gonna start. And as it gets down further, it kind of turns a different color and gets skinnier, but get closer together. And this is not going to be like realistic shells, but Probably take the longest time getting these lines and stuff in. You can see my lines are a little bit funky, but that's okay. This is an easy, don't worry so much about it. It's gonna be like, you. Um, this is gonna look like a painting. This isn't gonna be like realistic or anything. And you may want to kind of round off some of these, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more blue and brown. A little bit more gray and start doing some more gray looking. And this is kind of fun. I mean, it looks kind of ugly. This is the ugly stage. You're going to think that it's never going to look good. It's just going to look like a blob with stripes on it, but it will look better. I mean, even people that have painted for a long time, once it starts getting to this point, even they start kind of like wondering if it's ever going to look good. I mean, I kind of, you know, even when I look at this, I'm like, okay, I know what I where I'm going with this, but is it really going to look the way I want it to? But if you just keep putting in these layers, it will look better. Okay. And you may not want to put as many ridges as I do. I think I'm actually putting more ridges than is even in the picture. <laughs> but, um, that's the nice thing about painting. You can do more ridges than I do. You can do less than I do. Um, of course, I'm doing so many that if you did any more, it might would actually look solid. <laughs> but um, just don't worry about it looking perfect. Okay, and then kind of in here, I'm going to start making it a little more to try to transition to where it'll start curving the opposite direction. So you can see these go out this way and then it's kind of straightening up and then now they're going the other direction. So there's the dark spot, so I'm going to rinse my brush out from that. And 
So I'm going to do some different colors in here, but I'm going to first, let's see, take my white and I'm going to lighten this shadow color. Okay, so it's like a gray and I'm going to put this shadow, make it lighter down here because this is kind of where that like lighter area is on the shelf okay and then I'm gonna mix some yellow ochre a little bit of the brighter yellow the cadmium yellow medium and I'm going to add some white to it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this just to uh, mute it a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in between these lighter areas. I'm going to kind of curve, tip, where I start, take a little bit of this brighter right in here which is a little brighter than that other part right here on top is like where it's the brightest and kind of go over the shadows a little bit okay and then it's gonna go back to dark okay and we're gonna get some yellow oxide and go right over those shadow areas and just yellow them up. I may take some of the brighter yellow too. I'm just kind of putting it in there. I'm not really worrying about where. Okay. And then to get some of this gray and I got yellow on my brush so it's graying it. It's kind of putting that on the darker spots and then I'm going to get some of the yellow ochre. Yellow, yes, yellow ochre with the gray. I'm going to get some of the brighter, get some white with these two. Just go in between those dark sections. So now I'm going to take the white and some of the cadmium yellow medium for a brighter yellow and some of the yellow ochre just to make it more of a natural color. I'm going to put it right on some of these that are really bright. And I'm going kind of on the left side of this yellow area. Left side. OK. 
Okay, and now in this darker area, I'm just going to take the yellow oxide and a little bit of, just a little bit of brown, but not a whole lot. And I'm going to put in the, this side. And I'm doing the right side of just a few of these lighter ones. And I'm going to go down below. Get this area. And put some in there. And we're still in the ugly part you now. Okay, and then I'm going to get some more yellow with the gray color. Just a little bit of blue. dark spots and then I'm just going to take plain yellow um, ochre for that side. Okay and like in here it's really light so I'm going to get some white and I still have some of that yellow on my brush so I'm going to put some this kind of in this lighter area. And then I'm going to take some of the brighter yellow. It still has um, I'm going to take the cadmium yellow medium, but it still has those other two colors in there. I'm just going to brighten it. So this is very painted looking. Very painted style. You can tell that it's a painting for sure. And you can make these look more real. Um, I have painted shells kind of smaller and they look more real. Um, this is more of a um, impressionist kind of painting. And I'm gonna go on the left side these yellow areas so it's touching the right side of the dark spots. Okay and then I'm going to go and I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to touch the right side of the yellow areas. Some of this muted yellow. I'm just layering different colors on. Whoops, I got some white on that one. All right, so I'm gonna stop that with that one at the moment. Okay, and I'm going to work on this back one. So it's blurry, it's not a lot of detail, so I'm going to get this white 
kind of put that back there. Put it on the edges. Underneath a little bit. And there are some white stripes. And then I'm going to take the cadmium orange with some yellow ochre. So this is like bright color. I'm going to streak that in. Okay, and then I'm going to take the burnt umber and ultramarine blue with a gray. I'm going to get a little bit of the orange with it to just make it orange tinted. And right up under here, here's the shadow. Where it's like, it's really like white colored, but it's in the shadow, so it's got other colors in it. Okay, and I'm taking the white. And I'm going to just take this color straight and kind of put in, just taking the orange by itself, put in some bright orange. And I might take that other lighter color, some yellow, kind of streak it in. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm just streaking in different colors of that orange. It's faded anyway, so. I rinse that out. And I'm going to work on the pink one. Now the pink one's ridges are going to be super small so it's going to be like this shell shrunk just a different color. So the ridges we did on this one, how big they are, we would have to like shrink it down to this size. So I'm going to take this pink, the deep magenta and white and just a tiny touch of the ultramarine blue and this is going to be our shadow for the left side so it looks like it would be like a highlight because it's so light but it's really our shadow because it's so bright okay, and then as we come over I'm going to get more of the deep magenta and a little bit of that ultramarine blue and that's going to be the shadow. Just putting in some stripes and then it's going to get even darker. So I'm going to get like this pink deep magenta straight with just a little bit of the blue okay so I'm gonna get the white just by itself I still got the pinks and stuff in my brush and I'm going to streak this is gonna be the highlight streak in the lighter areas. And as it gets over, I'm going to take this shadow color for the left side and put it in. I'm going to take the darker now. So I'm using the same colors for the shadow and the highlights, but
Okay, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of burnt umber with the pink. Make this really pretty dark color. And I'm gonna get a little bit of blue. Just to kind of really shadow this side. Okay, and I think that's all I'm going to do for that one. So you can see it's very, you can tell that it's painted, it's kind of cool. The other shells that I've done before were more real, but this is kind of, you don't really have to be super worried about the lines and everything. Okay, so I'm going to take my small round, this is the number one round in the same line as the other brush I was using, the... Princeton Velvet Touch, and I'm going to get some white just by itself for this big one, and on the edge, there's white. White on the edge, and then I'm just going to kind of pull it into these yellow areas so I'm gonna like put the main majority of it on the end and then I'm going to wipe my brush off and pull it into the ridges And this photo is on, on Pixabay. Where I got the reference photo. Okay, so now I've uh, kind of put my brush in the water. So now I'm just dragging the, pulling it down. And as it goes over, there's not as much white around the edges, but there is a little bit. And I'm going to get a little bit of ultramarine blue and burnt umber to my white. So it's not quite as bright. And pull it in. And as it goes around, there's like not any more highlight. Okay, so I'm going to get the yellow ochre and just add more detail to it. Putting some on the like the dark area and I'm just going to kind of put it on one side of the dark and like pull it You can add some of the brighter, kind of the yellow medium. And 
in the areas you want it to be a little brighter. I'm going to take this color I was using right up here on the edge and I'm going to get some of the brown and the yellow, the um, more muted yellow, and put that over here and I'll make it more gray. Okay, and then we put some of the gray kind of in here. And I'm just kind of messing with it. Sometimes um, it's fun to just take a picture and just like not worry how it comes out because then you can just have fun. You don't have to really. You know, if I'm going to try to make a painting look good, I'm going to, like, really concentrate and, you know, think about, like, every color. Make sure every color is just right. Um, sometimes I like just doing something and just for fun, you know. Not worrying how it comes out. Because, I mean, see, this, if I was, like trying to make this look perfect like the way I wanted it to um, it, I would have not done it this quickly um, I didn't really expect it to come out quite this way um, I expected it to come out more real but it's okay because you know it's just a painting it's not gonna you know kill you if it doesn't look the way that you want it to so I'm just going to like how it came out and when I think that I want to keep it that way, I'll just leave it that way. So I'm just kind of taking a bunch of different colors now and just adding more on here. Okay, and I'm going to get my white and a little bit of the burnt umber and ultramarine blue. A little bit more blue and I'm just going to put that kind of in here. There's like white. I'm not really worried about the lines at this point. I'm just kind of looking in and going in the direction of those lines. I'll take a little bit of this brighter yellow, kind of flick that in. I'm just taking like the gray and these different yellows and putting them in. Okay, and now I'm going to get the brown and the blue again to make gray. I'm going to get a little bit white of white with it and a little bit of the yellow to turn it yellow and I'm going to put that in the areas that have this darker color I'm 
more gray. So I'm going to take white and my cadmium yellow medium and just kind of put a little bit and I got some pink just from my towel putting it on one side the left side of these pockets and we're going to just kind of take the yellow and bring it down. Alright, and I'm going to get my yellow oxide and I'm going to go on each one of these um, dark areas and kind of brush over a little bit of yellow. I may take some blue and brown and my yellow and water it down. Now I'm going to go back over these light areas. browning them a little bit. It was a little more blue than I want. And some of these kind of lost where the shadow was. Okay, and I'll take the yellow and put it in between those. I'm just kind of messing with it, seeing if I can get it a little different. I want to play with it a little bit. Alright, so I'm getting the yellow ochre and white. We go in between these. This is definitely a different kind of painting than what I normally do. So don't be afraid of trying. If it, if something, I mean, really, this doesn't even look like some uh, my style or anything like I would make. Um, I guess it kind of does look like my uh, like fast impressionist kind of quick style, but um, it's a lot different than what I normally do, so you don't have to worry if a painting doesn't come out the same, you know, style looking every time, because it's not going to, so it's okay. And there's like these, I'm going to take some darker and just like these little pockets here. And I'm going to take some white and kind of brighten right where that is. Just a little, it's like I want it to have some shadow, but I don't want it to be that dark either. So I just took some yellow and 
that in. All right, so now I'm gonna try to make the sand, the shadow and stuff. So for that, I'm gonna go back to my angled brush and I'm gonna get the blue and let's see, can you see? Yeah, the blue and the burnt umber. I'm gonna do it more blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. And I'm just going to kind of put this in. I think the uh, texture of this, um, I'm wondering if the texture of the board here is throwing me off a little bit because it's like so smooth that it's. I don't know what's going on a little different. Um, I'm taking some white and some of the cadmium orange for the shadow of this one. It's got a little bit of an orange color. And then going back to the other color for this shadow. All right, now I'm gonna get my white just by itself and kind of blend them a little bit. I'm just going to put in a few more kind of shadows. And I'm going to get my white and cover back over, kind of make it look like hills and stuff. And I'm going over the shell just just a little bit so that it um, looks like it's in the sand. Alright, so I'm going to stop messing with it I think because we're at an hour and I don't know, it's, I like it. It's not really the style that I normally do, but it's pretty good. If I was trying to make it like, you know, perfect, like I really wanted it to look exactly like the picture, I probably wouldn't be happy with it because this is not how I see the picture. But for like a loose kind of fast beginner, type thing. It's actually kind of cool the way that it you can kind of see the imperfections and stuff. So um, because this is such a small board, I think I'm going to sign my name under here. Let's see. Okay, so I signed it right there, and there's the painting. So yeah, the uh, board was very different. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be that different, but because it's like so smooth, the paint goes on differently. So um, I think it's a little bit tricky to just kind of, um, I don't know, it's just different. <laughs> you just kind of have to 
know this board to understand what I'm talking about. It's just uh, different than having all the texture that a normal board would have. But um, yeah, that it's it's really fun actually. Um, just it's so colorful and I don't know. I just like it. Um, it's like I said, it's different, but it's still cool. So, um, so last month, let's see if I can fit this in here. This was the schedule. So all of those are on my channel now. If you're watching this one, um, all those are on there. And for August, this is the schedule. So this is the first one we just did. And we're gonna have a parakeet, little, cute little guy, or girl, it's girl. Um, <laughs> and then like a pretty landscape and seascape, got a cave seascape there. So yeah, if you wanna see the ones in July, they're on there. Um, this is what we did last week, the Eiffel Tower, and this is the finished painting. Let's see, it's kind of hard when it's so zoomed in to get it all in there, but so that was um, a little bit more difficult, um, but it was kind of like this in that you don't have to get the lines perfect. Um, you know, you can if you want to, I guess, try really hard to get it like exact, but it's a lot uh, it's more stress-free, I guess you could say, if you don't, if it's more painterly and you don't have to worry about the lines. So, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see these other paintings that are coming out in August.